Hello everyone, I'm Don the Crown, and today I want to talk to you about Stronghold Gathering. Now, if you're anything like me with this latest update with Vaulton release, I just don't really have any time to burn down through my trade skills bar and go out and gather a whole bunch of stuff. And this new system is really amazing for just basically doing that very, very quickly and getting you some stuff to help you get some supplies to go fight in those raids or anything else, really. And so... If you've ever been to your stronghold and you're like level 10 to 15, you've probably unlocked the farm by now, but it's all gone now. And instead, there's these three NPCs. These NPCs allow you to buy tools. This one over here allows you to turn white and green materials into green and blue materials. And then this guy here allows you to access the farm. Now, you can also access this menu by pressing Control 1 and at the top here, clicking Farm, which is what I'd recommend. You can do this from anywhere in your stronghold. And this shows you your farm and your stronghold. Now I've gone out and I've unlocked everything, all of the research in the lab. So I have all of the spots located uh, available to me and all of the highest available gatherables possible. And as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of flowers that we put in here. We have a little bit of relics and then three trees as well. And this kind of shows you as you hover over it, what the rarity of the node is. And going through the whole menu real quick, at the top here, gatherable settings allows you to change what the node is for the very next day. You can't change it in the moment. Uh, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Gatherables info shows you what the different node types will give you in terms of the materials. They're always gonna be like these types of materials. Down here, you can see your trade skill tools and you can repair them. And then you can gather all of them you can select the different types of gatherables you want to collect. So if you only really want flowers today, you can just click that and it's pretty straightforward. Now, all of the things that you use for this are only usable in the workshop in the farm section. And these are all going to be bound to you when you make them. And so one of the things you can make is the battle item HP selection potion box. And this will give you the option between three purple, six blue or 18 green potions. Uh, and this just requires some of the bout materials. And so as you can guess, the thing that I'm the most limited by right now is white flowers, which is why there's a ton of flowers in my farm. I don't really need relics almost at all anymore. And I do need a little bit of timber, which is why I'm trying to build that up. Now the other things that you can do, you can do other potions. So things like if you're going for stimulant or androphine or even time stop or panacea, these are all really, really good. There's bombs. If you need to bring destructive or corrosive bomb, these require different things. Uh, and then there is the grenade box, which if you're like needing whirlwind grenade or dark grenades, and these also require different things. And you can just go through here and figure out which things require which things. It's pretty straightforward. But these boxes are really great. It's a nice little passive way for you to generate materials that you will need for raids over time. And so getting back to the farm here, uh, I'm just going to click harvest all gatherables and it's going to use 4,240 of my life energy, which is really great because that means I don't have to go out and farm that. And you can see these are returned. So I got a whole bunch of white flowers, a whole bunch of other stuff. I got a whole bunch of timber. And so I don't think that the next day I'm probably going to need too much more timber as we're really limited right now by getting more... Uh, by getting more of the white flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these up to make, and you'll see that we're gonna run out of flowers here. So I'm just gonna go to the farm, and I'm gonna click here on the settings, and I'm just gonna switch all of these to flowers. And so these will be regenerated at server reset. Uh, I shall change this one to Yes, yeah, so with the entire thing full of flowers, and hopefully that helps fill up our store faster. And this is really great. This is a very easy way for you to go out and gather. If you hate gathering, but you do feel bad about having that green bar fill up, it's just automatic. You can just go to the laboratory. You can go and the research for this, I believe, is mostly at the bottom of the Stronghold Farm. You can see there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do to unlock more slots and to increase the tier of gatherables to tier two and to tier three as well. This is uh, just something I thought was pretty useful and I uh, hope this video helped you out. If you like the content, subscribe for more good stuff. We have a whole bunch of things that we're coming out with and uh, come by the stream.